hello West Ham Network, it's Holly and I am here with your Hammers headlines for today, Wednesday the 27th of September. We've got a lot going on today with plenty of fixtures and loads of action going on behind the scenes, so let's jump straight into your updates. Ahead of tonight's game, it is being reported that we can expect to see some serious squad rotation, which is exciting news. We did this against Baka Topola last week, but it's thought that there will be even more changes tonight. One of the exciting things is that for anybody that's been keen to see more of the Academy of Football players, it is thought that many of the younger players will be included in tonight's squad. This means that the likes of Divin Mabama, Connor Coventry and Callum Marshall will be among the players getting more game time, hopefully. It's the perfect opportunity for them to to prove themselves and it's also going to be interesting to see how we use Mabama and Marshall as both are currently in incredible form and we'll be wanting to secure a spot in the first team in the coming year or so. Interestingly, it doesn't necessarily have to be a choice of one or the other because they have worked well together and have both scored goals when used in the same team. So we don't have to don't have to pick one. Uh, as you'd expect, though, we are thought to be resting some of our key players, including Antonio, Paqueta, Warpross and Bowen, possibly Zuma as well, I hear. And we will have to wait for Team News to come out to see whether these players will be on the bench should we need to bring them on for a boost if we are struggling with the scoreline. Hopefully we won't be. Let us know how you're feeling ahead of the Lincoln City game this evening. Are you happy to see youth players getting a chance? And how confident are you that we will put in a solid performance? Leave a comment below to let us know. And if you haven't seen it already, Russ had a chat with the opposition, which is now live on the channel, where you can hear the imps' thoughts ahead of facing West Ham. And make sure you stay tuned this evening as West Ham Network has plenty of content coming out to give you previews, match contents and post-match analysis around the game is going to be great fun. Up second, Tim Stighton is not relaxing in the slightest now the transfer window has closed. He's probably warming up the jet as we speak because West Ham are being linked with Ukrainian international Mikola Matvienko for a January move. He's a 27-year-old defender for Shakhtar Donetsk. And interestingly, he can play pretty much anywhere along the back line. In his career, he's played 72 times at left back, 136 times at centre back, 10 times at right back. And he's even played as a left mid nine times. So it could be useful on the wing if we really, really do run out of options. While we did add Dinos to our central options in defence, we struggled to strengthen the left back position, which is definitely a big priority moving forwards. Cresswell is, of course, expected to move on after we saw the rumours that he was looking to leave last window and that would leave us very short of suitable options so Matt Bianco could be a very attractive option. The versatile player is said to be keen on a move to England with interest from other clubs including Sheffield United, Everton, Burnley and Crystal Palace and this follows on from Brighton and Brentford looking to sign the defender in January last season before those deals ended up falling through. And it was thought that his club were holding out for £25 million for him, which never materialised, and that killed off the deal. As we know, though, Brighton and Brentford are pretty good at identifying players with potential, so this could also be a good sign that he is a player that's worth it. Obviously, they didn't value him at that price tag. Interestingly, though, the player who has 59 international caps went on to sign a new contract with them after this until December 2027, which is likely to increase his value a fair bit. So it wouldn't necessarily be an absolute bargain, but if we think he's the right player for us, in Stighton we trust. But Shakhtar's sporting director has not ruled out further transfer discussions after confirming that there was English from in interest from English clubs. Now, it's going to be interesting to see how this progresses, but... If Tim Stighton is on the case, we do have a solid chance of landing the player, should we want him and agree with the valuation. And I have a bit of a different question, actually, on this topic. First of all, do you have strong opinions on our signing choices now? Or do you just have enough faith in Stighton and the team that you're not too bothered and you just wait to see them play? I know that previously I was looking at people we were rumoured to be signing and I was quite concerned if I didn't think someone was a particularly good fit. And now, even if I can't quite see the reason that we want to bring a player in... I'm just like, it's fine. I'm sure Stighton and the team know what they're doing. To be honest, they obviously know what they're doing a lot better than me. There's a reason that he's doing that job and not me. But yeah, let me know how confident you now are in our transfer strategy and whether it's made you feel a little bit more relaxed about how we sign people. 
And last but certainly not least, Connor Coventry has spoken out about how excited he is to play against his former club tonight, Lincoln City, where he was out on loan and played seven times in 2020, with this loan cut short when the season was cancelled due to COVID. Having also been out on loan at Peterborough United and MK Dons, Coventry featured five times in our Conference League journey, as well as playing in 16 championship games on loan at Rotherham. Coventry spoke about how useful it was to gain experience at Lincoln City and spoke very highly of his time there, explaining it was a great experience for me at Lincoln. Lincoln. It was my first loan, my first experience of real first team football. It's a good club with a really good following and fan base with good people there who made me feel welcome and helped me out. Looking back, I took a lot from it. He also provided some great insight. As we know, it's not going to be a walk in the park tonight. He said he has played alongside many of their current players, adding... I know a few of the boys there and they have some really talented players. I know they want to play. I know the way they want to play is in a good style and it will be a tough game. They've had a good start to the season, so it should be a good test. And there's no doubt that Coventry will also be looking to prove himself in any game time that he is given tonight, adding that he's hoping to play and saying that he knows that everybody is going to be ready for tonight's game. And he also wants to play his part in the Hammers' upcoming success, saying the experience we all had together and with the fans in Prague has made everyone hungrier. You can see it in the way we've started as well. Everyone has a positive momentum and we're looking to carry it on push on and try to get another trophy somewhere. So there we have it, a lot of determination and a good work ethic where people just want to prove what they can do. This is the perfect opportunity for us to be able to do it. If we can have a run in Europe, a cup run and Premier League, I think this is the perfect opportunity for us to actually work out Finally, how we can balance different players, how we can bring them into the game and not just have a starting 11 that we don't switch out unless someone's injured. So there we go. A lot to look forward to for tonight's game. Let us know how you're feeling about the potential of a cup run for the Hammers. Very, very, very exciting. So there we have it. That is all from me for now. But stay tuned for the Lincoln City versus West Ham content tonight. We've got loads of it so you can keep up to date. It's a big game for a lot of players tonight. So here's hoping we can put on a really, really good, exciting performance because we know that's what we all want to see. And we want to give plenty of academy and youth players the opportunity to contribute and hopefully prove why they need to be starting in things like the Premier League. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to treat yourself, why not become a West Ham Network member where you can enjoy exclusive content and be entered into regular prize draws. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Have a brilliant one. And until next time, come on, you irons.